everyone. Welcome to McCullough Steam Spirit. This is our Black History Month Steam program. We celebrate Black History Month in February because of Carter Woodson. He was the first to uh, petition to have Black History accomplishments celebrated and, and acknowledged within our nation. President Ford was the first to officially name February Black History Month at the 1976 Bicentennial. Carter Woodson, he wanted it to be just the second week in February because it coincides with Frederick Douglass and President Lincoln's birthdays, but it was then just more expanded to the entire month. That's why we celebrate, celebrate Black History in February. So this is Mae Jemison. She was the first Black woman in space. In grade school, she became interested in how the universe and life began, and by high school, she was reading all the books about astronomy she could find. After graduating from high school at 16, she was admitted to Stanford University, where she studied chemical engineering and fulfilled the requirements for a degree in African and Afro-American studies. She later went to Cornell University to study medicine and went on to become a doctor. All the while, her interest and passion for space and space travel grew. As a child, she couldn't find real-world examples of women in space, so she found her hero on screen. She grew up in the 60s and loved following the adventure of the Starship Enterprise crew, where she saw a black female translator and communications officer, Lieutenant Ahura. After interviewing with NASA and fulfilling her astronaut training, Jemison received her first mission in 1989. Finally, in September of 1992, she and six other astronauts launched into space where they would orbit Earth 127 times over eight days. Forever a Trekkie, Jemison would begin each shift by informing mission control hailing frequencies were open, a nod to Lieutenant Ahura's signature phrase. In Jemison's own words, people don't see women, particularly black women, in science and technology fields. My participation in the space shuttle mission helps to say that all peoples of the world have astronomers, physicists, and explorers. Currently, Jemison is leading the 100-year Starship Project through the United States Defense Advanced Research Project Agency, DARPA. This project works to make sure human space travel to another star is possible within the next 100 years. Now for some space-related fun you can have at home. Today we'll be making rockets, we'll be making paper rockets, and we'll be making these little toilet paper roll rockets. And I have an example for a baking soda and vinegar rocket. Okay, so the first little um, craft we have here is this little straw rocket ship craft that you can make go. So you have your little rocket ship template, you cut it, you can, you just color it, whatever, decorate it, and then you cut it out. Okay, so we cut out our rocket. I'm just gonna put a little, little EVP over there. Then you wanna take two uh, straws. All right. So you, I cut a slit up this one straw a little bit, maybe half an inch or so. And then you fit the other straw inside of there. Um, you can use two different size straws. I only had one size of straw, that's why I had to cut the slit in there. And then I put a piece of tape around where I cut. And then you also want to make sure um, that the straw that you cut with is covered on the top here. So I just put another piece of tape on top around it. However you want to cover that. Okay, once you have that and they pull apart pretty easily. Okay, well. So then you tape the, the part that you, the top part, the one you cut and the one you put tape on top of. 
and you tape the top part of the straw to the back of the little rocket. And you have, you have a rocket ship. And then for this little rocket ship, you can, you know, glue or tape a piece of paper around any color or decorate it any way you want with the toilet paper roll part. But you're gonna wanna cut three slits up the uh, same side. Okay. And then with whatever color construction paper you want, um, I don't really, I mean, you can measure a circle for the top, just three squares, because those will be your little stands. So you cut out your shape. And for the top of the rocket, you're gonna wanna take your circle and cut halfway to the middle. And then you fold them over each other to make a little rocket top. And then you, you can use tape to tape it together. Ooh. And you can tape it to the inside of, or the top of your toilet paper roll so that it will stay. I just like to put a double-sided piece up there. All right, and then we have that. And we'll cut out our square. And we need three, so I need three. And you wanna Fold each square into a triangle and cut off the excess. Okay. Then, it looks like I didn't cut these that far enough. I mean, you can kind of judge however big your triangles are. And you stick them inside a little rocket ship here. You have a rocket ship, a little out of a toilet paper roll. So my next one is how to make a water bottle rocket. I won't be able to demonstrate everything with this one. And this is definitely an outside um, project. So what you wanna do is get an empty water bottle and get three pencils that are unsharpened and tape them onto the bottle that go way past the lid here. And then you just tape them on there so that it will stand like this. Once you have your launchers, you can make a top to your rocket, you don't have to. So then you want to put about a quarter or so, fill the quarters of the bottle with vinegar, and then take a piece of toilet paper tissue and put about a teaspoon of baking soda in that. And what the toilet paper does, or a little piece of the toilet paper, will act as like a time, a timer, so that whenever you put it in here, you have time to put the little cork in or whatever you're using to stop up the hole. Um, and then you flip it over, and as soon as all that pressure builds up, it will blast off. And that is how you make a, an exploding water bottle rocket. Thank you all for coming to EVPL McCullough's Black History Month STEAM program. This was super fun.